They use these points of data to extrapolate how habitable these moons would be for any sort of life form. Of the analyzed moons, one of the most promising was Saturn's moon, Enceladus. If life exists on Enceladus, it wouldn't be found on the moon's surface. The moon is covered by a massive sheet of clean ice, estimated to be nearly 40 kilometers thick. Temperatures on the surface only reach minus 198 degrees centigrade, far too harsh for any sort of life that we know to exist. Although these initial exterior observations seem to suggest life could not exist on Enceladus, scientists soon discovered that life may be flourishing somewhere else on the planet, its underground oceans. In 2005, the satellite Cassini, sent to study Saturn and its moons, relayed back information that would ignite the scientific community with excitement. Vast plumes of water were being ejected from Enceladus's south pole into space. These plumes were found to be what composed Saturn's E-ring, but more importantly, they were a clue to the possibilities of life brewing below the surface of the moon. These jets of water vapor suggests that there is a liquid water ocean below the ice sheets. With the vast amount of water present on Enceladus, it becomes much more likely that life could be hiding deep below the surface. But just what might alien life from Enceladus look like? Many scientists believe that deep on the ocean's floor could exist chemosynthetic life, very similar to those that exist on Earth. Chemosynthesizers live near hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, feeding off of the chemicals that are spewed out of these at super hot temperatures. Chemosynthesizers are unlike photosynthesizers in that they require no light to keep on living. 